Hey, what's up everybody? Chris Young for Gander RV and Outdoors standing inside the 2021 Thor Freedom Elite 23H. Let me tell you, this beautiful little unit right here is great for that couple or small family that wants to get out and about, they want to travel, but they don't have a vehicle to tow a travel trailer. So this motorized Class C might be a fantastic option. Let's start right here on the campsite with the kitchen. Great for a couple or a small family because I got the countertop extension if I need it right here my light controls, as well as my house battery, my LP and O2 detector down there, GFCI outlet here, seamless countertop, flush mounted three burner stove with the glass cover and LED accents on the controls. We got the 16 inch oven here. And in case you need it, how about a deep solid wood construction, full extension on the ball bearing drives with tape magnetics or uh, with tape Velcro to kind of help everything stay in place. Good for the pots, the pans. Greystone microwave that is flush mounted, strut supported storage up top. And this is the Bayside interior with the Carolina Cherry cabinetry. I'm a big fan of what they did for 2021 with these colors. Frosted glass inlays on the shaker style cabinets with the brush nickel fixtures all the way around. And these shelves, you can adjust them. As you can see, you have the metal racks over here and the clips. So if you need it higher or shorter, you absolutely could make that work for you. We got a stainless steel deep faucet right there, farmhouse style that's undermounted. We got the high rise faucet with sprayer handle and the cutting board covers. And you know, like my buddy Ian always says, cut on the back because you don't want to mess up the tops right here. More storage underneath. And since it is Thor and the Freedom Elite, you're going to have the shelves that pull out inside the cabinets. Great touch. Trash can storage right there. Queen size camp bed. And when you step up here, this does have a privacy curtain that comes around. So when I say couple or small family, uh, if you don't mind the kids, you know, making noise or if you don't need complete privacy, that's a good little curtain to have right there. Some deep shelving right there with a dual USB charging port. Large windows on the campsite and the rear of this slideless Class C. Now this is on the uh, 350 chassis uh, and it still has a 8,000 pound towing capacity, which is huge for a Class C. A lot of times they hover around 5,000 pounds, but with this one having 8,000, great addition. Skylight right here above the bed, strut supported storage. So if you needed some room up there, you absolutely could. Once again, the Bayside interior on those wood valances, large windows, got an access panel in the 2021s. A lot of times to get down to the access panel, this is your circuit box here, but you can also access the water hoses, uh, the air hoses, the plumbing through there. A lot of times you got to take the screws out of the panel from underneath the bed. So having this added in was a very nice touch by Thor. Come around to the bathroom. And as you can see, I mean, you have 81 inch interior heights in these. Uh, insulation, great all the way around. Plus we have Luan backing on the walls, fiberglass exterior. So you're gonna be able to heat and cool this unit the way you want it. We got a 13,500 BTU air conditioner, which I'll show you here in just a little bit. Single basin, deep well stainless steel sink with the stainless steel and brushed nickel fixtures up top. Mirrored medicine cabinets with the raised lips, just to make sure stuff doesn't move around while you're in transit. Storage underneath. And we have ourselves a porcelain bowl with the foot flush. Single surround shower. And uh, the only thing is you're going to need the skylight for the headroom in this. But once again, for no slide, pretty good room here. Got elbow room left and right. Got my corner notches. Got the plastic cover on the uh, slides right here. And the skylight it's almost like a dome. It's been raised a little bit more for 2021. That crystal inlay is still in there, or I like to call it the crystal inlay because of the natural light that it lets in. I got my shower handle controls right there. Got my hangers right here. And of course some hangers on the back of the door as well. Solid wood door here. Come around to some more storage. This is your ward storage there. You can have a shelf drawer, excuse me, a drawer down there. Once again, solid wood construction, ball bearing drives. Look at the wood paneling on this fridge freezer combo. The space that you have there is just wonderful for a long weekend family or just a couple. You got enough room and this is 
uh, a automatic, so it runs on both gas and electric and it has the automatic switch. So when you're going down the road, your stuff will still stay cool. Large shelf right there, drawer, not a storage compartment there, should have read that. And under storage here, under the dinette. Now the thing I like about the Thor Freedom Elites, their vehicles have the dream dinettes, which means there's no legs under there to get in the way when you want to sit and enjoy those campsite meals or just reconnect with the family, play the board games, play the card games. Got a large bay window with some LED accent lights. I got my speakers that are dual zone for here and the outside. More storage above the dinette. Just look how high and deep that is. If you need more pantry storage, more you know, clothes storage, games, whatever, you got those solid, those solid shaker style cabinets on the strut supports, it's brush nickel fixtures. Here's our 13,500 BTU air conditioner with the quick cool. Got more storage right here above the entryway. And right up there above the single swivel captain's chair. I like how this has the seat belt in it. So if the kids are riding with you, you got seat belts on both sides of the dinette, which the dinette does reduce down into a sleeper, but you also have it here. You could easily get two adults on the bunk over cab that we have here. There's the ladder that we've uh, set up for you so you can check it out. Plus a 40 inch TV on a swivel. So if you wanted to watch TV in bed, you could, or if you wanted to get it ready for the living area, the nice thing about that is it's on the swivel, comfy bed, got cup holders up there, window there, plus a fan, LED lights all the way around. And Bob, go check out that dash. Once again, we are on the Ford E350 chassis. That is a touchscreen dash panel with backup camera. Plenty of space for your cups. You got some 12 volt chargers there as well, as well as HDMI and USB. And for a class C, you really can't beat the Freedom Elites for value, price point, layout and space. I mean, this, this unit has no slide, but look at how much room I have here, not to mention the headroom. Just a beautiful all the way around, smaller class C for that couple or small family I'm gonna say that as many times as I can, who are just looking to get out and about and do some adventuring. We even have a wall cubby over here with suspension net and dual USBs, because you know everybody's gotta keep their phones charged and tablets charged. So we've seen the inside of this 2021 Thor Freedom Elite 23H. What do you say we go take a look at the outside? Got a little surprise for you in the back. I'll show you here in a second, come on. Okay, so here we are on the outside, the 2021 Thor Freedom Elite 23H. Now, I need to uh, make a correction on the inside. I said they had the 81 inch interior ceiling height. It's actually 84 inches, so I apologize about that. Out front, you're gonna notice the beautiful white on blue. You got that seamless roof that goes all the way over the back. 350, this is the Super Duty 350 with the Triton V10 engine. Come around to the campsite. You got the mega windows giving you great visibility on both sides. 15 foot awning, which spans almost the entire length of the vehicle with the LED light strip underneath. You got the seal to safety tinted glass all the way around this window. When you need to check your propane, easy access here through the door. So if you need to light the pilot, do the fill. Got it right there. Friction assist door here with screen door, got the steps, grab handle solid mounted there, plus you have one on the inside for additional security. If you wanna do some outside entertainment, you got power ports right here. So if you wanna set up a TV, charge your cell phone, you could right there. But the thing I really liked about this 23H, check out the mega storage that we have, accessible by the campsite and the back. Not only do you have the Rotoflex in here, which means you get the water in there, you get the dirt, it's fine, it's almost rubberized. Take those ports out the bottom, drain everything out. We have our own table and storage for the table. So when you're ready to set up some outside entertaining, maybe you had a great fishing trip or a hunting trip, you want to eat outside, there's your table. Don't even have to worry about taking it. Accessible from the side or the back. And just take a look at that extra storage that we have there. That's why it's called mega storage. You could get your hunting gear in here, fishing gear. I got LED lights to help me at night. Plenty of room for anything that you want to do. Here on the rear of the unit, we got a solid mounted ladder that goes all the way over the top, giving you additional security when climbing up and checking the roof, making sure the seals are okay. Four by four sewer hose storage there. 
backup camera mounted in the light back there. We come around to the off camp side. We see we got the Santa flush valve right there, city water connection there. Our main sewer connection and wastewater tanks, the dumps, if you will, gray and black dumps right there. Easy to access if I don't hit the camera. Sorry about that. <laughs> Fuel there. <laughs> back of the furnace, back of the fridge. We got our 30 amp plug right here, as well as our TV connection right there. And Whisper Quiet Onan 4000 watt gas generator right here. Got the plastic clips, making sure the door stays secure when we need to keep it secure. Fresh water connection right here. And as with custom with class C's, take a look at the plush interior that you saw a little bit of inside. Once again, on that 350 Super Duty Ford chassis, Triton V10, they did a lot of upgrades for 2021 from the 2020s, including the engine. Uh, so that Triton V10 is gonna give you even, even more power. But if you're that couple or that small family that's looking to get out and about, you don't wanna pay the travel fees, you don't wanna buy airline tickets, you don't wanna buy hotels, you wanna get out and see the country and drive, come check out the 2021 Thor Freedom Elite 23H for a slideless Class C that can tow 8,000 pounds. I don't really have anything negative that I can say about it, but leave me some comments down below and tell me what did you not like about it? What did you like about it? Because I love hearing from you and I love it when you click subscribe and click the little notification bell because that means you'll be the first to know when we put a new video out. I'm Chris Young for Gander RV and Outdoors. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I appreciate it. Look forward to seeing you soon. And as always, come check out an RV, especially a Class C because they're easy to drive and they're fun.